Hi, Mark Anthony here, and I'm here at the uh, 3ABN Studios uh, with Melody Prettyman. Melody, how you doing? Great. Uh, you've been on some pretty exciting trips around the country, haven't you? It's been a long winter. Yeah. yeah. So where have you been? Um, we left Ohio and went to Florida, from Florida up to Illinois. From Illinois over to Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, and then back up to Ohio and then to Michigan and now back to Illinois. Wow. <laughs> you put a lot of miles on. Don't we both? Yeah, you might need a new vehicle. Probably. If anybody out there has an RV for Melody or a, you know, she'll be glad to take your donation. Oh, I'll <laughs> so, take it off your hand. That's yeah. right. Yeah, we can always use vehicles with what we do out that's there. That's true. So, yeah. Miles for God. That's right. Amen. So, hey, you know what? It's, it's been a fun trip. I had a couple of uh, things I wanted to uh, run past you here real quick. Uh, this is all about salt. And uh, you know how salt is so bad for the diet, right? Well, we do need some salt in our diet, though. So, you know, some play, people say no salt, some say sea salt. There's a, so much, there's such a discrepancy on salt. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. is, do you find this on everything, though? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I find discrepancies everywhere. It doesn't matter if it's salt or sugar or how much crack cocaine you should be having on a daily basis. I Soy, mean, these people are absolutely sugar, nuts. It's yeah, amazing. It, it's, it's amazing. Water. How, how can you have so water? many different discrepancies anyway? Well, it's because there's a, there must be a research out there, a, a hundred on one particular item. Yeah. And if you don't read all this, just like our Bible, you know, you could read a text and make it say anything. Right. But when you read line upon line, Amen. precept yeah. upon precept, you get the full balance. And it's the same way. And I kind of think that's what people... That's what the devil is doing, is just creating confusion. Yes, it is. Yeah, so people don't know what to believe. But um, these are some things that, that where salt is actually good for you. Um, and and I've now, got, where do you find this at? I've got a whole list of things. Uh, I've got a number of different websites. You could actually go to my website, uh, chefmarkanthony.com. Wonderful. And, um, and I've got lists there with all my sources and everything. And if um, they haven't looked at your website lately... Like yeah, I have. totally remodeled. It's totally remodeled. Yeah, yours too. Melody's got a totally remodeled website too, uh, MelodyPrettyman.com. And she's got a lot of great recipes on there. And, uh, easy to contact her, easy to contact me. Um, I think I've got my cell phone. You got your cell phone on there too? I think so. Yeah, yeah we've well, got our cell phones home. on there. So we, you can we always... don't have home phones, do we? Yeah, we're exactly. Never, that's our home phone. <laughs> really. Um, but salt, salt is good for bone structure, mm -hmm. uh, even osteoporosis. They're finding out that people who don't get enough salt end up with higher percentages of osteoporosis. Something about uh, when you have enough salt, 25% of that salt is stored in your bones. And Absorbed. when you don't get enough salt, it's actually sucking the salt out of your bones. Um, so that's one of the first places that all your other arteries will suck nutrients out of. Um, but it's good for uh, stabilizing your regular heartbeats, uh, clears up congestion of the sinuses, regulates sleep, Helps maintain muscle tone, uh, uh, even for varicose veins and spider veins. Uh, treats emotional disorders, uh, prevents muscle cramping. We know some of these. Um, helps the kidney. Uh, and there's a whole list. Uh, and, and there's even um, some other ones about helping with uh, diabetes and uh, skin conditions. It's really good for skin conditions. And it actually helps for weight loss. Um, well, I, I, do you get this question from people a lot when you're out there in your seminars, you know, what about salt or how little or what kind? Because I do have a preference to salt. Mm -hmm. You know, I, li I think Himalayan is the purest of the salts, mm -hmm. and I think it's very good. And I love the real salt that's mined in Utah. Okay. Um, I, and I, when you look at the salt, it looks dirty. But the reason for that is it's all the minerals. Mm -hmm. You know, our body needs minerals. We were formed from the earth, and we're made of right, minerals right. as well. Right, um, right. Yeah. And they help to balance that sodium. But when you go to the grocery store and you're buying white sea salt and white table salt, you are getting nothing but pure sodium. They have stripped yeah. the minerals. The four, four electrolytes, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium, calcium. that's your main four ingredients. In right. fact, uh, there was Magnities, one... There's so many different copper, zinc, all these trace minerals that we need in our diet. Yeah, one university actually was mentioning that there's really no significant difference between sea salts and table salts as far as their two main compounds are sodium and calcium, mm -hmm, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so nutritional-wise, it's very insignificant amounts. And I think people are actually psychologically 
making themselves believe, oh, it's sea salt, it's healthier for me, I can eat plenty of it. They eat and more. they're right, and they're actually just getting bombarded because you know they're mm -hmm. trying to justify their you know. You fix, know, uh, I feel this way. If you've got if you're primarily pretty healthy and you're eating your food the way God intended for us to eat and mostly um, we're preparing it ourselves. We're not buying it prepared where most of your sodium's there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can salt our food. Yeah, ninety percent. By the way. Yeah, I mean, the, have you ever looked at like a TV? Oh no, what's that hamburger helper? Yeah. I mean, I haven't bought it in years, but I've looked at the boxes and I try to make sure I have some education. I went in there one day and a serving's like a half a cup. Do you know of anybody that eats a half a cup? No, no. Okay, so when, if they're doing their servings, some of those are eight hundred forty milligrams of sodium for a half cup. Mark, that's like. Two or three thousand milligrams of sodium, but they're getting just pure sodium. They're not getting the trace minerals along with that. Roughly seventy-five percent of the daily sodium intake comes from processed and restaurant foods. Only mm -hmm. ten percent comes from natural foods. Right, and we need the natural mm -hmm. sodium. And, and and if we would do away with some of these prepared and prepackaged foods, we could put. I don't salt think you'd ever have a problem. I, no, don't, I don't think you would ever have either. a problem if you did not eat in restaurants and you did not what about eat packaged, do you remember? processed foods. I never remember my grandparents saying anything mm -hmm. about salt. So what's your uh, uh, number as far as how much salt we should be having? There's kind of a range there. There is a range. You know I, You know what I do? I put a, when I'm at home, which I'm rarely home, but I don't eat that. I don't eat that much salt. I had a problem with high blood pressure, so I've really got back. But my diet was a lot different then. So I do use salt in my food, but very uh, little, and I only use the real salt. That's what I use mm -hmm. personally. But I put a half a teaspoon of salt out in a dish in the morning. I take that and pinch that, and I, I don't salt my food when I'm cooking. Okay? Right, it's just added. Yeah. It's just added. So when I sit down at the table, that's when I put a little bit of salt, pinch it on mm -hmm. my food. When I'm done at night, Mark, I still have probably 50% of that salt or more. So it helped me okay. to really cut back on eating too much mm -hmm. salt. But um, whenever you salt the tip of the of the food and you put it in your mouth, those taste buds right in the very beginning, yeah. it excites them and it feels like the rest of your food is salty. Yeah. So that's one way to get your sodium down. Because we do eat way too much sodium too in much. this yep. country because we, um, ten times times. we eat the wrong types. We eat the wrong type of sodium. Most places, uh, now I've heard 500 milligram, I've heard 1,000, 1,500. 1,500. 1,500, mm -hmm. is that the one mm -hmm. you've been hearing Yeah, 12, 1,500. That seems to be the popular one. Yes, it is. Um, I, I like the 500 because it kind of seems like we're just getting way too much anyway. I think um, But good But we're pushing 10 times the amount of salt that we should be having. Uh, yes. And some of the diseases that it causes, stroke. Hypertension. Uh, hypertension and high blood pressure, which is kind of the same thing. You know, when you um, have a heart attack, they tell you to limit, cut back and eliminate the salt. Cardiovascular disease, ulcers, absolutely. and even death. There's a lot of deaths that, that come from quick amounts of salt. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's... It's something we really need to pay attention to. And I think, again, if we would prepare food naturally grown as God gave it to us, we don't have to worry about salt. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't have to worry about a lot of diseases if we just get back to nature I cook my food. I'm not telling people don't cook your food and make sure it's a balance, but that's the key, the type of food that you're eating. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it just goes to show you, you know, too much salt is really going to be harmful. Not enough salt is really going to be harmful. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things that we just have to do in moderation. Balance. And uh, we'll keep talking about this, so just click on to the next YouTube and uh, we'll see you then.